Hey guys welcome back to Glitch Documentary. So here we are going to focus on the case study of Lexus LFA car. And reason why it was the biggest failure in supercar industry. First of all let's understand about the company. The Lexus LFA was a high performance sports car developed by the Japanese automaker Toyota Motor Corporation. Despite its impressive engineering and performance. The LFA failed to meet sales expectations and was ultimately discontinued in 2012 after only producing 500 units. In this essay, we will examine the reasons why the Lexus LFA failed. Firstly, the price point of the LFA was a major factor in its failure. The LFA was priced at around $375,000 when it was first released making it significantly more expensive than its competitors such as the Porsche 911 Turbo and the Nissan GT-R. This pricing strategy was intended to position the LFA as a high-end luxury sports car, but it proved to be a major obstacle to sales. Most car enthusiasts and collectors found the price to be too high, especially given the existence of other high-performance vehicles that offered better value for money. Secondly, the marketing of the LFA was not very effective. Although the car was highly praised for its engineering and performance, it did not receive as much exposure in the media and automotive industry as its competitors. This lack of exposure made it difficult for the LFA to gain traction among car enthusiasts and potential buyers. Additionally, the lack of marketing efforts made it difficult for people to understand the unique features and benefits of the LFA, which could have helped to justify the high price point. Thirdly, the limited production of the LFA was also a significant factor in its failure. Toyota originally intended to produce only 500 units of the LFA, which made it a very exclusive and limited edition car. However, this strategy ultimately backfired as it reduced the visibility and availability of the car in the market. The limited production also meant that potential buyers had to wait for months or even years to receive their cars, which further reduced the appeal of the LFA. Fourthly, the timing of the release of the LFA was not ideal. The LFA was released during the global financial crisis, which had a major impact on the automotive industry. The crisis led to a decline in consumer spending and many potential buyers were less willing to invest in high-end luxury vehicles such as the LFA. Additionally, the global economic downturn also led to a decline in sales for the automotive industry as a whole, which made it even more difficult for the LFA to gain traction. Lastly, the design of the LFA was also a potential factor in its failure. Although the car was praised for its engineering and performance, its design was criticized by some for being too angular and aggressive. The design of the LFA was intended to be futuristic and cutting edge, but it may have been too polarizing for some buyers who preferred more traditional and classic designs. In conclusion, the Lexus LFA was a high-performance sports car that failed to meet sales expectations due to a combination of factors including its high price point, limited production, poor marketing, and the timing of its release during the global financial crisis. While the car was highly praised for its engineering and performance, its design was polarizing, which may have further reduced its appeal among potential buyers. Ultimately, the failure of the LFA serves as a cautionary tale for automakers, highlighting the importance of careful pricing, marketing, and design strategies in achieving commercial success in the highly competitive automotive industry. Well this is enough for the video what is your opinion? Do share in comment section. Thanks for watching.